Hey there, my name is Shamim and welcome to our channel Tuba365. Today's video, we are going to create a simple composite, but it is also going to be a super cool digital artwork by just using a couple of Photoshop tools. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to fast select and mask a portrait and profile pic and blend it with a stock image to create a cool next level digital artwork in Photoshop. First thing first, let's create a new blank image document. We're going to name it Image Blend Tutorial. Next up, let's open the face image and remove the messy background. Let's change the background layer lock settings. Just simply double click on the background layer and hit OK. For masking, go to select maneuver and click select and mask option. At the properties tab from view mode, just select view as on black. Next, from selection toolbar, select object selection option and draw a rectangle around the face. Next, we are going to select refine edge tool to refine the mask selection area. I know there are some adjustments, but trust me, it is the fastest way of masking a face object. There are some extra selection in the face mask area. No worries, we're going to fix that in a second. Just fill the mask area with the brush tool if there are any empty area. Next for the output settings, select decontaminate colors and drag it to 23% and select output to new layer with the layer mask. Now we are all done with the masking, just hit OK. Just to confirm, we created the mask as we wanted to do so. Create a new layer and fill it with the black color. Let's copy face object. Just hold the command key and left click on the layer mask thumbnail. Now click on the layer face image object and copy and bring it to image blend tutorial document. Next up, let's open the stock image from our GFX folder. To open an image, simply click file and open. Next, we're going to copy this image and paste it to our image blending tutorial document. Simply select all and copy and paste it into the tutorial document. I have added all the stock image URL in the description below. Next, let's rename layer 2 as GFX and layer 1 as a face and drag it to the top. Now let's transform the face layer. Simply edit and free transform or from your keyboard command T.
scale it down and flip it horizontal. What we are going to do now, set the face layer position and change the opacity level before we rotate the face layer. I like to set the face layer rotation to 166.3%. Once we are done with the rotation and transformation, let's commit transform just hitting the enter key from the keyboard. Next, we will change the face layer opacity to 100% again and hold the command key and left click on the face thumbnail. For the face layer, we are going to add back of the face selection area just using rectangular marquee tool. Once selection is done, just simply inverse the selection by shift command I or select and inverse. There are some extra selected area. We are going to fix it in a second. Just simply by using rectangular marquee tool, hold the option key and minus the extra selection area. What we are going to do now, we will select the GFX layer and clear the selection area just hitting delete key or go to edit and clear. Next up, let's fix the face image lighting condition. We're going to adjust face light by just using curves. In the RGB channel, just push the curve upwards a little bit and hit OK. Now, we are going to change the face layer blending mood to screen. What we're going to do now, we will use the smudge tool in a creative way. Now we are going to select the smudge brush size 200 and make sure you have selected soft round brush if it is not default selection. What we're going to do now for a smudge effect, we will hold the left mouse button and drag brush pointer left or right direction as needed. If you haven't subscribed to our Tubo365 channel yet, please feel free to do so and make sure to ring the bell to stay up to date for the future uploads. Next, we are going to merge face and GFX layer. Just go to layer menu and select merge down or from your keyboard command E. Now we are going to again use the smudge tool and create some cool motions. We will add some wave motion effects so that it looks cool. Next, we are going to change background layer settings. Just double click on the background layer to change the layer settings. What we are going to do now, we will add a lens flare filter and set the brightness to 125%.
Next, we are going to copy our TFX stock image again and bring it to our tutorial image canvas document. Now we are going to flip this layer GFX image horizontal and set the position on the left. Next we are going to set the GFX image layer blending option to screen and merge it with the lens flare. What we are going to do now will just apply a filter in this layer. Simply go to filter noise and select dust and scratches. Make sure you set the radius slider to 54 pixel and hit OK. Next up, we are going to change the opacity level for this layer but before we do that, let's add a new layer and fill it with a black color. To better organize, let's rename layer 0 to background and layer 1 to BG color. Next, let's select our background layer and change the opacity level. We will set it to 87%. What we are going to do now, we will again use this smudge tool and add some more motion effects for the final touch. Let's change the brush size to 41 pixel and add few more waves. Next we will change this mask tool brush size again to 175 pixel and add few more motion lines to the GFX layer. Guys, look at this digital artwork. We just learned how to combine simply just two images together using layer blend screen mode and a smash tool special technique and created this really cool amazing digital artwork. Hopefully this tutorial helped you to take your Photoshop skills to the next level and if you like it please consider subscribe my channel and also hit the like button. My name is Shmi and thank you for watching my Photoshop tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.